here's a video. How do I get started? Everybody says, oh, what tools do I need? I can't afford a vice. Oh, uh, all this stuff that you got, these ball vices and these graver maxes and these uh, Lindsay Air Gravers and all these tools. That they didn't have them when the hobos had them. Well, here's a uh, caveman hobo carving deal. This is a piece of dowel rod. Get it over here so you can see it. I got to get acclimated to my camera. You can see it's just a piece of rod. This is hot melt glue that I heated up with a little torch. You could do it on the campfire, or whatever you want to call it. You know, heat it up. I use the torch a little small propane burner tank you know here's the, the burner and there's the torch like fifteen dollars and three dollars for the tank at walmart so uh now this is glued in here i heated it up glued it down drew a little quick hobo on it so i have a vise here that i'll clamp it into and then uh here's a sewing needle Regular sewing needle, small. You can see it next to a penny. It's pretty thick. It's not a um, narrow, you know, small little sewing needle. These are like what you buy at like a carpet store to mend carpet. You know, it's really the eye on it's pretty thick. You know, there you go. So it's a pretty pretty substantial. I can use that in the vise, and I have these little pin vise here that you can buy. These are like $6. It's adjustable. And you could put all your gravers and stuff into it. I did a video on this just using the this for your hair. Then you put it in and now you could come in and just touch it and push. You know, push down and make your hair. Each individual dot make a mustache. It's like a razor stubble beard. You can do that. And Here's another graver. This is a, a regular full size graver. is really long. They're um, when you buy them, they're a lot longer than this. And this this is one that just broke that I bought pieces from a flea market somewhere, and I just ground it so it fits into this handle, just like the other one I showed you. So there's that. This is that axle from the toy truck that I ground to make a chisel out of, and you could take that and you could hit it. Here's a little wooden block. Just hit it, hit it with the block to make stuff if you want. Like tap around. You can tap on the coin and make all different textures. Here's an old scribe. Worn out. You buy these at Home Depot for like four dollars for scratching on metal, and uh, the tip broke. So I just made it. I use this for dimpling hats. So I can come in here and just dimple the hat. I need a hammer. It's a block of wood. So um, here's a hobo graver. So here's a graver made in USA, and I ground that down to 45 here. This is the bottom, the flat graver. And here I can just take, let me turn this a little bit. It's a screwdriver. You don't have to go eBay and buy graver sets and stuff. And here I am. Cutting away. So, let me just tap away with my hammer. So, I'm tapping with a regular graver hammer. This I bought, it's made in Pakistan, made in Hurry, wherever. It says Pakistan on it. And um, this was like seven dollars delivered to me on eBay. It was like four sixty. I mean, like they haven't sold them like that in a while. But the handle's loose. You know, you got to tap, fix it. You get what you pay for. So I got a cheap hammer. You don't even need the hammer. I could take the handle of the hammer. Let me try to get back here a little. I'm sorry. It's the biggest thing is the microscope is hanging off my vice. I can take the. I'm taking the handle of the hammer. So you can take a piece of broomstick, anything to power your graver. This is just the handle part right here. I'm tapping the back of this screwdriver graver and I'm cutting away. I just re removed all the. Let me see if I could zoom in for you. 
I did this, you know, kind of like caveman style with my with my um, camera too. But I can come in and just keep using that just like that. I can cut all these lines out and cut everything with this caveman style graver. I'll turn it. Tap away. So there it is, all smoothed out. You can even come in, use it as a hand graver, and just smooth out the whole area. So this is my little, this I traded a blacksmith, he did some work for me, and this is a stippling tool that I use for stippling, and um, it was an old file, he just filed off all the stuff, or ground it, I don't know how he did it, and it twisted it, but just a piece of steel. Here's an old beating punch from engraver. Rusty because I had my shop got flooded. So um, and that's it. So here is a, another vise. This is a pin vise. And um, I'll zoom out for this a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm not a professional video guy. I'm not a professional engraver. I just So here's a vise that you could buy. You can hold in your hand. And then the cool thing about this is while you're graving, you're not gonna you're not gonna cut into your hand, you know, because you got the um, it's, a, it's up above, so you can just not cut in, and you can take your graver and come in and just work work with that. The other cool thing about that is is if you have a bench vise, now I bought this at a flea market, I don't know if I said that in the beginning, I bought this at a flea market for like $6. It's a little clamp-on vise. Now this, this handle unscrews, and you could take this, and take this cheap vise, you can go to Harbor Freight, Sears, buy the cheapest little vise, yeah, not the cheapest, you know, spend 20 bucks or something at Harbor Freight, this is a small vise, now you can take this here and put this down. So now if you want to engrave a quarter you just take open up these pins that that hold these four pins you can put another coin in there so there's your vice then you take and you sell a couple coins and you buy a, a regular engraver's vice or buy other tools or buy different gravers but here I took and I just did a little bit with that like a couple hits and I knocked off the feather for the collar a little bit and a little bit over here in the corner You'll smooth it out, sand it, whatever you want to do. Take this tool here and punch in all the hat to just get rid of all that hair. I can cut these lines, and that's it. So this is my little uh, quick video on cheap, getting started cheap. Okay, good luck and have fun. Let's see what you do.